Hey, there you are. Welcome to your unique devotion. All right. So today I'm going to finish up Hebrews chapter 7. I'm going to read to you verse 26 through 28. It's entitled Greatness of the New Priest still. Um, that section kind of got broken in half. Uh, so we're going to finish that up. Then I have a God question. So, most important part, as always, let's get the scripture in. You've got your listening ears. I've got my reading lips. So, here we go. For such a high priest was fitting for us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and has become higher than the heavens, who does not need daily, as those high priests, to offer up sacrifices, first for his own sins, and then for the people's. For this he did once for all, when he offered up himself. For the law appoints as high priests men who have weakness, but the word of the oath which came after the law appoints the Son who has been perfected forever. Um, yeah, that, that's some good stuff. Um, basically pointing out that men before Jesus needed to do some sacrifice all the time. Here they're talking about priests and that the priests would sacrifice it for the people and then for themselves. But Jesus is once and for all. He takes the place of that continual cycle of sacrifice. So it brings me to my question. Have you received God's blessing? If you're not sure about Jesus, if you have not accepted his, his life, death, and resurrection into your life, don't fret. <laughs> don't, uh, don't get weird. Don't get, well, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, if you have to, just pray to God. Just ask him. You know, say, I'm not, I'm not really sure about this Jesus fellow. But please open my heart, open my mind to your blessing. Because his death is a blessing. We don't have to do that crazy sacrifice thing anymore. We don't have to live in the over 600 laws. And I think there's actually, over, there's, there's such a large amount. There might actually be over a thousand. I think there was originally 600. There's like... So many laws. Like, you can't work a full-time job and follow every single one of those laws because you'd have to break out the book and look at law number one. Okay, am I doing that? Okay. Number two, okay, am I doing that? The point is you can't accomplish every single law. You're always going to have to do some sort of sacrifice. But if you accept Jesus in your heart, he will start to work on you and change you so that the law doesn't even matter. You don't have to follow the law because you only follow one thing. And that is, love thy neighbor as thyself. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. <laughs> you know, love, love, love. You just learn to love. That's the basis. So, like I said, don't get all caught up and, and feel weird about it. You don't need to understand his life, his death, and resurrection right off the bat those things will sort of come to you. The more you love, the more you'll, and the more you read scripture, the more you'll, you'll see the purpose of it. So don't feel challenged too much by it. My other point here is, have you received God's blessings? You know, in my life, um, as an example, so many times when someone tries to give me something as a gift or a ble and to bless me in some way, I'm, I'm usually kind of like, no, that, that's okay. You don't have to do that. You know, like, I'm not 100% willing to accept the gift. Um, even on my birthday, I feel sometimes a little weird accepting something from others. Like, you know, the, the feeling of, well, God it teaches me to sacrifice everything and, and give everything. But we also need to flip that coin, so to speak, and be willing to receive because we need to be, and here, let me, let me rephrase a little bit. If we practice receiving from
from others, small gifts at birthdays and holidays, um, just so off the cuff, so to speak. Um, you know, just because someone decides to buy you breakfast, you know, one day you don't be like, no, no, I take care of myself. You know, accept it, be gracious, be thankful, say thank you and appreciate it. Because if we practice those little things, then we will be more open to accepting what he has done for us on the cross, which is the biggest <laughs> gift and most important blessing of all. So, have you received God's blessing today? I'm sure that you can think of other examples in your life of receiving blessings for yourself, receiving gifts, um, and the example uh, in your life of, of God coming into your heart or trying to come into your heart, and I urge you to let him in. And if you've already let him in, let him in a little bit deeper by continuing to read scripture and uh, communicate with him on a regular basis, which is part of what we're trying to do here. On that note, I hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, please, and uh, leave some comments below. Don't forget, uh, check the D box. There's all kinds of information down there, my email. Uh, servants.org uh, link check them out they're pretty cool and also the daily pump up music link that's always fun so until tomorrow have a wonderful day um i hope i double hope that god gives you all the blessings you deserve and even more so all the blessings you don't deserve i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>